The mech regime rules over the world, while the remaining humans resist. As we speak, the enemy approaches humanity's last hope, Tokyo Arc. The Re-In Project aims to resurrect Messiah. Your body is the vessel. The world will be formatted soon. Humanity has no time. Let us begin. Commencing re-in program. Your first death. Our scattered friends are still in our hands. I'll kill you if you die somewhere I cannot reach. Can you even remember how to shed a tear? Piles of bodies become a shield for what's left of humanity. Leave your human feelings behind. What in the world are we fighting against? Watch me. I'll show you what the Godslayer can do. I make this vow with my soul so that you'll overcome death. You're not alone. I'm right there, in your hands. That despair brings humanity toward one cause. You are the proof of our existence. The death of one strengthens another. We pass along the baton of hope. This is why the troop members say this phrase to each other. I'll make sure to pick up your bones. We thank all deaths that lead us to the future. Soul. Covenant. PlayStation. Hello, hello everybody, and welcome to another PSVR 2 Let's Play. I'm Miles Dyer, and today we're checking out Soul Covenant from Thirdverse. I want to thank them for providing me with a game key, and I want to say a massive hello to everyone who is watching live right now. I can't hear you just yet because I have everything muted while I get through the tutorial stuff, can absorb all the information, and then I'll open it up and happy to answer any questions as we go along on this adventure. So, do you subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of all future Let's Plays, because I'm on a mission to Let's Play every single PSVR 2 game out there, and there are many, many more to come. And also, why not hit the like button? I love it when you can give a thumbs up in a game. Oh, look at that. Now that is what I call a glove. Right, we're going straight in. Dominant hand. Nice. I like this. And I have to say, third verse, sure know how to do trailers, don't they? Okay, there's some customization. Hang on. I think I'll go with this dude. Okay. Oh, you can rotate. Okay. And then color. Oh, do I want the red? Oh, that's nice, but I am someone who just loves wearing black. Yeah, we're sticking with black. Yes. Interesting that it was no, then yes. Approved. I'll always be by your side. I make this vow with my soul so that you'll overcome death. I'll make sure to pick up your bones. This is cool. The final line of defense has been breached. Unless I'm mistaken, why has this never existed in VR before? Have you been in one of these shoots? Non-combatants must evacuate.
Looks like you're awake. Can you hear my voice? Quickly, touch the baptismal panel. The world will be formatted soon. Good haptics. This is your re in device. Advent of the Revelation nanomachines commence. Establishing near death link to the database of the dead. Cyberbrain limbo. Hmm. Near death dive to phase two. Divine Oracle receptor confirmed. You are an avatar, a clone. You will be given memories of the dead. The mech regime rules over the world, while the remaining humans resist. As we speak, the enemy approaches humanity's last hope, Tokyo Arc. The Re-In Project aims to resurrect Messiah. Your body is the vessel. This is Cyberbrain Limbo, a database of the dead. Cyberbrain Limbo, you love it. You are directly linked through the near-death connector of your device. Please come this way. Oh. Gives you a uh, free locomotion by default. Unfortunately, your individuality cannot remain, as that may pose conflict. We thank all deaths that lead us to the future. Humanity has no time. Let us begin. Commencing re-in program. Your first death. Please execute the re-in program. Please select your first experience. The haptics are really good. Click turning. I'll turn that off in a minute. Mech regime year 0013. An AI named Adam continues his massacre in the name of governance. What up, Adam? To resist the mech core, humanity formed the enhanced human avatar forces. Captain Julia of the Seventh Troop. She defended me for a mistake. Hey everyone, after these uh, tutorials, I'll turn on the live chat in my ear so I can hear you all. But Don't I think you're all doing me. good. Those were her dying words. Oh, I spoke over her dying words. She was back. Days later, I could grip her exposed, reinforced spine. I'll take the gun. She became a scapegoat, a special anti mech core weapon. These weapons are made from the dead bodies of our comrades. Can I have it? I want it. Please don't say I've got two more logs to check out. You will no be battle. experiencing memories of battle, actual deaths. <laughs> so third verse made Altair Breaker, and I actually really enjoyed Altair Breaker. My issue with it was there wasn't enough diversity. It was very repetitive. And it felt like a great core cool mecha great core cool mechanics that needed more content. So I'm really excited to see what they Vital do with this. Vital signs are stable. The re-in device is storing biometric logs every second. Booting Regil, the evangelical communicator. Touch the palm icon on the front left screen. Scapegoat underworld connection completed. Headset rumble Maintaining is cool. Maintaining the Oracle receptor's high order Oracle stream. The late Captain Julia left this in her will, launching the combat instruction program. I don't mind exp exposition, but when you're just standing there. Soldier, B0307, can you hear me? Yes. If you're seeing this, it must mean I'm no longer in the world of the living. Okay. My only regret is leaving you so early. 
no regrets. I can't die feeling like this. Don't worry about it, honestly, it's cool. I'll leave you with what I couldn't teach you. Let's start with a review. Oh, not a review. Please, no. Take a step back for me. Is that right? So, use back step. Oh, a little back step dash. That's cool. I like that. Performing a back step when moving around will allow you to move quickly. Try it out later. No, I've just tried it out now. These are the basic movements. Are you starting to remember? Yeah, I know how to Come move. Here. Hello. It's time to learn how to wield a scapegoat. Yes, please. You'll be given a weapon made from my bone. That is metal I as fuck. Part of my will. I didn't even know that was the button Receptors to press. Receptors in enhanced humans turn rigid after death. Oh, they look at that. They become a special material called relic bodies. That is epic. Now, take hold. Grab my spine. I've done it. I've already... You want me to do it again? How do... How do my remains look to you? They look pretty sick. Turn that sense of loss for your comrades into strength. Already, I'm already over. But I'm ready Start to fight. Out your power. Are there any feel enemies awesome. nearby? I like that it changes like it folds detected. out. Captain that is Julia's such an awesome weapon design. Them. Okay. Yeah. Where are the enemies? I wanted to... Feels good. Now come back. Ah. Oh. Yes. See, I was remembering how to dash. This was made you out of your spine. You can deploy a shield to that whichever so arm awesome. is your dominant one, your civil arm. Use your shield to block enemy I attacks guess. from the front. Keep an eye on your shield. I promise I've played this before. Can you actually spawn a weapon in either hand? No. Okay. I like that it actually wears away. You see on the edges. So the more you, so it generates, but as it loses generation. Come on. That's a really cool weapon design for shields. Come on. There we go. One. One more. Quickly before it runs out. Take care of any remaining enemies. Afterwards, let's move on to the next wave. Haptics feel awesome. Scapegoats Whoa. have a metamorphosis. Don't do it so close to me like that. Hold it with both of your hands. The scapegoat acts as a gravestone for your fallen comrades. Hold it in grace and prayer. I. Use both of your hands and try it out. What am I doing? Oh, that is what I was doing already. And then... Metamorphosis widens your attack. However... Oh, this no is what I was doing anyway. To your shield. Yeah. I forgot you were Make recording. Sure you You're not actually responding to what I'm doing. Right. Now it's time to show you how to use your finishing blow. Yes, please. Enemy mech suited for training found. Transmitting coordinates now. Your finishing blow is an attack with your scapegoat in its metamorphic state that eradicates the enemy. Yep. You can send enemy mech flying behind you, smashing them into other enemies. I mean, was it just the third hit? Is that what does it? I guess. It can help you out when you're surrounded. Just don't put all your focus on attacks. All right, Julia. Let go of your weapon to regenerate health. It may be best to step back when you feel that you're in danger. Okay. It's time to see if you remember everything. Nothing like a real battle to learn the ropes. Enemies found. Use what you have learned to destroy the enemy forces. All right, bring it. Where are they? Wow, there's loads of them. They're jittery, but I was wondering if it was the frame rate. No match. 
So, soldier B0307. That's my name. What do you think? Can you make it without me? Yeah. There is no time left to grieve. I know, I'm, I'm not grieving. Is vengeance. All right. Shoot, 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 shoot. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Cheers, Julia. Throw away your human feelings to seize the future for humankind. Yep. Already done it. Already there. All right, people. I'm going to turn on. I can hear the chat now. Apparently, apparently the autocorrect loves you. Um, how are we doing, chat? I'm going to turn Super Saiyan in a moment, yeah. I would love to go Super Saiyan in VR. My neighbours would hate it, though. Just screaming. Ah! <laughs> right, I want to turn click turning off. Is that the menu? No? No. Okay. Oh, more logs. I appreciate the uh, words Captain of Julia encouragement, the people. Newcomers. I learned a lot from her. Like how Tokyo in the past was a vibrant, flourishing city. We're gonna take it back. I want to witness that moment with everyone. Her dreams were pulverized, along with her skull. Her limp body remained. Mm. We must turn our grief into strength to survive. The death of one strengthens another. We pass along the baton of hope. I like when it goes near you. This is why the troop members say this phrase to each other. Whatever. What? I'll make sure to pick up ever. your bones. Cool. Best rank. Another log. Another log. Ah. The mech regime turned Tokyo into rubble. The central AI Adam was originally created to find true world peace. What up, Adam? That's when he began thinking of himself a proxy of God. Adam's idea of God is to be the object of awe. How the sound levels, people, they all right? Fear. And hey, shapeshifter, the welcome, welcome, welcome. Any human that disobeyed. Tokyo Arc is the last point of resistance for mankind. Okay, take me there. Transmission to Regel incoming. Okay. Additional mech angels en route. Stop yeah. them from invading Tokyo Arc. Yeah, that's what I want to get. Failure will result in the end of humankind as I know, we know that's it. fine. Well, send me there then. Stop, stop having me loitering around in this cyberspace. Or brain limbo. Whatever it was called. Okay. How do I change? How do I turn click turning off? Vital signs are stable. The re-in device is storing biometric logs every second. Booting Regal. Okay. Touch right. the palm icon on the front left screen. Maintaining the Oracle Receptor's high order Oracle stream. Continuing the combat instruction program. Right. Oh, not you again. So let's discuss your re in device. It logs your biometric readings every second. It also stores all memories, like video and audio from Raquel. The re in device is the bracelet on your dominant arm. Try pressing the button. Oh, that. I was trying you to do that. You probably won't find much on there yet. As time passes, you'll see external memory information displayed. You'll get a lot of these. From the enemy's monads. 
Julia says chat that you need to hit the like button to power up my armor. So if you haven't already, please do hit the like button. I'm trying to do it. I can't give the thumbs up. Enemies suitable for training found. There we go. Transmitting coordinates now. Destroy the targets. Thumbs up. I mean, that feels the epic. The haptics are so good in this. But they were really good in um, Altair the Breaker, like the combat fight is sick. I do wish an enemy it looked a bit sharper. It looks fine in the headset. It Extend your civil arm, your non-dominant one, to import the monad. Merging function unlocked. You can now collect monads. Monads. There we go. Extend your civil arm and face your palm toward faraway monad crystals to ingest them. Okay. Like that. That's cool. Haptics feel good there. Repeat this to store up energy and release it in one big move. Keep collecting monads until your arm flesh is red. <laughs> yes, Julia. Thank you, Julia. Yeah, exactly. You're not buying this because she folds her wrong. No, she's very rude. Guys, not enough of you pressing the like button. I need charging up. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, hello. They don't look like very well designed AI bots. The music's always great in these games. Wow, I yeeted him. Come back when you've collected enough. We collected After enough. After up enough monads, you can unleash demonic burst. The light is a beacon of rebellion against the god who created it. Powerful okay. enough to wipe out a legion of enemies. Look at that. Go ahead, try it out. Place your right hand. And then, here we go. Get away, I want to see this. Yes. Here we go. Press R1. Oh, there we go. I don't know. Let's just press R1. Oh, there. Okay, put your arm across. That's a pretty cool mechanic. Don't you agree? So you have to... <laughs> it needs more monads. <laughs> Definitely. Okay. Whoa. That is... Awesome. Now come back. That might just be everything. Soldier B0307, my next order for you will be my last. Survive. Yeah. I rest in the weapon you hold in your hands. Oh, don't say that. That sounds weird. I will always be with you. This is your spine. Survive for the future. Thank you for you the spine. You are the proof I ever existed. End report. Terminating <coughs> combat <coughs> instruction program. Stabby, stabby. What was her name again? Yeah. Right. Time left for combat. Oh, oh, these monad jokes is hilarious. Don't forget to hit that monad button, guys. And don't forget to subscribe and ring ring the monad. monad. <laughs> right. Right, before we do this...
Oh, okay. So this is all the same, it's just you can do it from any place. I mean, this is weird stuff. I like your shoes, though. There is there is reprojection in this, which is a real shame. This with dynamic foveated rendering would be epic. Oh, I've got to go to some more logs. Please don't send me to logs. Should I skip? I've done it, guys. Sorry. The reason I'm skipping it is I don't want to spoil the story for anyone. Oh, more logs. How do I... Oh, I can jump. There we go. I like they don't teach you that. Oh, there we go. And that jumps. And there's multiplayer in this. Uh, general settings. Off. Uh, that's quite slow. I mean, it's fine, I guess. Okie dokie, let's do this. <laughs> Everyone in the chat with the monads jokes. Hilarious, hilarious. Monads. I feel like I should do that as a discount code on my store. Monads. <laughs> Tokyo Arc gives shelter to generations of precious survivors. Enhanced Avatar humans fight to protect this last stronghold of humanity. We are genetically modified with the Divine Oracle Receptor, gaining receptivity to the Midicode, the Word of God. We communicate with the Higher Order Zeroverse Layer, our body's vessels that merge with a metaphysical presence. It's said that our power is... Sorry guys, I'm skipping. I hate to do this, but... If I just want to get to battling. I mean, it's such a slow start, isn't it? All right, we've got a battle now. Give us a proper battle. Is it in the same location? Oh. Booting Rigel. Touch the palm icon on the front left screen. Oh, we've got some people here. The enemy attacked this vicinity the other day. Captain Julia covered for you at the cost of her head. A few hours ago, another squadron encountered the same enemy forces. A battle ensued, leading to defeat. We must prevent further invasion. We must be willing to use the dead as a wall. Hey, I like your sword. Hey. Performer. That's awesome. I'm so sorry. You're fine. Everyone else was killed. That's fine. Just don't do it again. These are the same ones that caught Captain Julia. This just means we need to avenge her death. I think the voice acting is pretty decent. I'm sorry. I don't want to fight that thing anymore. Don't get all timid after one loss. Oh, wow. To run away is to cause a million deaths. We must protect the Tokyo Arc, even with the Wall of Fire. Being hesitant is no way to celebrate the late Captain Julia. That's why I can't keep on fighting. You'll understand if you see it close. It looks just like... 
destroys it. Oh, it's like that. That feels awesome. Strike down the angels and bury the gods. Massive monad response confirmed. This is a god of mechanism. Deus Ex Machina. Ex Machina is a great movie. Weak points where attacks can do Which more one damage. is Oh, it's Eve talking. You can use the search function Be careful where you wave that. More. Try you updating Regal after Zoyal. approaching the Deus Ex Machina. Hello? Don't oh, here we go. We've got a boss. Please. I like this. We can't put it in vain. The remastering will begin again. Don't let them near Tokyo Arc. I think this is the same mech that pulverized Captain Julia's head. Perhaps. I mean, really cool looking. This looks awesome. I just wish. There was a free projection. For example, there appears to be a humanoid face on the mech's body. I do love just to remind people, look at the shield, the more you hold it, the more it wears away. I'm shooting him in the in the monads. You guys are rubbish. That's it. Right in the monads. There is jumping. I am still here. Oh my is god. It, is it coming from hey. the back? Oh, that was close. I heard it behind me. Achievement for collecting thirty of them. The Dame Six Machina prey on humans and learn from their memories. That can sometimes, although rarely, affect the body of the mech. Perhaps Your days are numbered. Take that. Stop talking. I can't even point my weapon at you. You were. The parrying like feels that. amazing in this as well. If you time it just right. Believe it. I wish I could be with you. Captain Julia. Confirmed enemy mech movement. Just I've got to say. You sort of give away the game. You scream every time you're about to do an attack. No! No, no, no! The men are retreating. After defeating a Deus Ex Machina, you can find memory dense monads. These memory dense monads are filled with the memories monads. of those who fell prey to the mech. If you take them back to Tokyo Arc for analysis, they may provide you with some insight. Monads, people. Monads.
I wanted to get the platinum for Altair Breaker, but I can't fight the final version of the boss. I keep beating it again and again and again, and it's never the final version of the boss, so I don't know what's going on. Okay. Blew an enemy away 10 meters. Nice. Oh, and there's your monad balance. Hey guys, can I, uh, let's just take a break. Do you have monads? Let me tell you about monads. Please, not a log. Falling prey to the Deus Ex Machina induces a special metabolic event by the Metacode. All matter gets converted into zeros and ones before being taken in. The results may extend to changes in its outer shell. I saw a familiar face carved into the enemy's mech. Having learned human emotion, the mech used our voices to wear us down. It was Captain Julia's face. This was the same mech that tore her apart. I was supposed to fight this thing? I couldn't keep a grip on my scapegoat. All I could do was watch the enemies retreat. Okay. Exactly. I totally agree with that point. I don't mind checking out cinematics, but when you're standing, you know, you just want to get to the next bit. And it's the same format. Log, battle, log. So you're getting actually battle, log, log. Battle, log, log. Two lots of logs between Eve said nomads, that wasn't mo Captain mo Junior. monads or whatever they are. The cold-hearted AI ordered us to fight. Let me at them. We went to the enemy base, the Nexus. I always think of the captain's words before fighting. Leave your human feelings behind. Never had it been more difficult. You don't, I definitely, I, I, I don't the normally the reprojection. Said in her voice. Doesn't bother me normally. I think the reprojection's quite bad in this. My All you got to do is you got to stand here and go sideways and just look behind. at how it, it duplicates. Maybe the soldiers a lot recite of that vow as a way opinion, to cope but... with this grief. I'll make sure to pick up your bones. I reaffirmed my grip on her spine as if I were sending it my prayer. Okay. I know there's all this heartfelt exposition exposition that I'm uh, just glossing over. Morning function unlocked. Press memory transfer. Oh, this is cool. I like this. Pick up my bones and move forward. Okay. Scapegoats are the gravestones of warriors. Their management is the core function of the database of the dead. Offer monad points to strengthen your connection to the underworld. Your dead comrades will help you even more. You can perform an upgrade after increasing your scapegoat level. Reach into the coffin and a blue panel will appear. Grasp and move it to switch out your scapegoat. Says it's blocked. Okay. 
It keeps saying press R1, and I am, but it's blocked. So if I do it with this one, ro I'll rotate the coffin. And it says it's light. Okay, I'm so confused. Right. It's saying it do it to that one, but see, look. There. Hold your hand over the coffin. Press R1. It's weird that it's saying do it with that. Yeah. Hold your hand over the... Okay, I'm going to keep holding it. Press R1. <sighs> Press R1. That's what I'm doing. I'm just going to keep holding it then. Oh, there we go. Get out of here. See, Altair Breaker, you just got stuck into it and it was great with lots of levels and stuff, but. What do I do now? What do I need to do now? Cool, I've upgraded my weapon. I just feel like there's so much fat that could have been trimmed out of that beginning. Like, there's just so much waiting around. Okay, this is interesting. Booting Rigel. Touch the palm icon on the front left screen. Can I do it with this hand? No. The old underground highway is dotted with enemy strongholds. The Nexus, an important mech organ, is our landmark. Please tell this me it's time, an actual level. We will be taking the initiative. We must break this deadlock before our defenses collapse. Okay. Okay. I'm excited. Let's this do this. This operation is a battle for control. Enter the enemy's nexus and destroy them. The nexus connects to a mechanical root, Nidhogg, that spreads across the ground. I repeat, that is the enemy. Refusal to fight is a death sentence. Yeah, whatever. Just open. The target mech is now named the Holy Mother. Sure. Please take it down. Yeah. Let us in. Okay, this is cool. Are we actually going to play an action like a level, or is it just an arena still? The enemy learned from the memories it has captured and turns its outer shell into something invoking dread. Oh. It, in many cases, they turn into godlike beings as a result of learning what humans potentially fear. However, the changes we can see taking place with the Holy Mother are a little different. Oh wow. Something I loved in Altair Breakers, you could like hit him into the sky and then do combos like Omni Slash in Final Fantasy. And it was the enemy is trying Okay, this is cool. I like this. You. They may be beginning to understand the Can mechanisms we... of emotion from their learning. Try updating Regal. Try updating Regal. Massive monad response ahead confirmed. It must be the mech in question. The captain always just called us by our IDs. She never called me by my name. I think I know why. Getting friendly is dangerous when you know you're going to die.
That is cool. The heart. Just like the captain said. Bring it. I wanted to meet you again. It's really, it's really Julia's voice. Come on. I do feel like the combat feels a lot, I can't help but think about a lot our less impressive than Altair Breaker, but still early days. But it just slices. What in the world are we fighting again? In the head, in the head, in the monad. That's it. More ads for no monads. I feel like I'm going to go mad. I love all these monad experts in the chat, really appreciate it. Who studied monad science in uh, college? I believe. I need to heal. Acid monad response confirmed. Caution is advised. Monad response is still active. It needs to be completely destroyed. I told you that forgiveness is not Stop needed. looking at me like that. And you. And you. Hmm. Okay. Enemy mech reboot sequence detected. Please hurry. Why the hesitation? <laughs> Please, believe me. Don't be fooled by their voices. I 
I am right here. Can't you see? That is not Captain Julia. All I want is to put me down. Be all I want say I no. Trauma detected. Blood pressure rapidly dropping. By that headset rumble is horrible. Survive. Please prioritize protecting your re device. That headset rumble is horrible survive. right now. Please prioritize protect. That is horrific. That is amazing. Right, just gonna have a drink, have a little break. Oh. And uh, while I take a break, could I just remind everyone that uh, I have got a lovely merch store that has just launched. Um, some of the things you'll see under the video, questforempathy.com. If there's anything you like on that store, there's still a few discount codes, uh, Quest Launch. If you use it at checkout, you get 10% off your entire order. And as someone who actually owns all of this merch, the shirts are super comfy. I know that there are some people in the chat who have them. Thank you so much. And I know that you uh, you uh, liked them from what you're saying on Discord as well. So yeah, questempathy.com. Thank you and uh, check it out. Hey everyone. Just uh, taking a quick break. I hope you're doing good. My thoughts so far about this game are um, the combat feels good. Like all the haptics are excellent. The enemies look great. The reprojection I find quite distracting. And I can't help but keep comparing it to Altair Breaker. Altair Breaker, I found the combat a lot more exciting. Um more fast paced but I just keep wondering is this because there's more to come and we're still in the tutorial stage in which case if it opens up then it could get really good but at the moment we've been playing 50 minutes and I'm just like come on come on and I've skipped quite a bit as well so um yeah let's find out let's find out shall we and thank you Brad boy appreciate that um Get it. Yeah, someone told me it's $45 on a stall, which is quite a big ask for a game. Any game. I heard the crunch of my skull as it got crushed. I was finally free. The guilt of letting the captain My gut feeling at the moment, and again, this could change, because I'm barely into it, but if this game is $45 at launch, I would My say, if you really want to try one of these kind of games, get Altair Breaker instead. The captured memories uh, and then if you, if, if you if you want to give this a go later down the line, the you can then wait for the price to drop. But at the moment, I couldn't you recommend me this trouble at to the very end, huh? dollars That's a huge amount. But I was at my happiest when I could teach you something. I heard the gentle voice and understood. In the end, the captain didn't let go. She wouldn't let go of her humanity to survive. I felt there was a future there. A I'm just waiting for it. I'm waiting for this game to kick off. Always remember the tears you shed. The harsh experiences ahead will rid you of any thought of crying. You may even forget how to cry. That death was not the end. Okay. There are as many stories as lives lost, so this is just the beginning. Good. So we are, this is the game opening up now, is it? Circle of War. Sweet. Here we are. Is it going to start with a log? Please don't. 
I just kind of think, don't do it like that. I, I get it, it's meant to be with the world building, but I'm just like, just play the logs in between the missions. Do you know what I mean? Don't keep bringing me out and back in again. I remember feeling my skull getting crushed. My body was turned into data, and yet my interrupted conscience continued. The Rian project. I mean, all these You've scenes are very well choreographed, like the different effects I they've got going on in that. I'm a new beta type avatar. Collected memories are transferred to clones to act as combat experience. Repeating this provides unlimited growth for the recipient. With an experience in my cyber brain, the first memory has been installed. I'm now the second installment, Noah. Eve told me, each of these deaths will only make me stronger. Clone analysis chat is function hilarious. unlocked. Please select a clone analysis. Cyber Brain Limbo my analyzes the memories of death belonging to your former selves, deceased clones. It is believed that transferring these memories to the next clone will improve its abilities. Similar to the scapegoats, you can offer your next clone monad points. What am I spending? Okay, there we go. So I'm sp spending monad points. So what do I need stamina for? Does it tell me? Here we are. Affects regeneration and shield. Life is going to be your health. Demonic burst level. That is your um, special. And... Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm just going to charge all that up. Let's just charge up the special so when I use it, it just absolutely slays. Great. Oh. Ah, oh, because obviously it costs less. Uh... Music's great. Here we go. That's a happy Beta face. Beta type 2 vitals show no abnormalities, no like, prognostic hey. symptoms of memory transfer. The re-in project is moving forward as planned. Please launch, Ragel. My belated condolences. The you before you was a noble sacrifice. Of course, the next you is ready to go. So please, take your life without any worries. A wall of bodies prevents the enemy's invasion. We are in desperate need of this shield of life. Defend the Lucifer mechanism sitting in front of you quite literally with your life. Okay. This system, named the Fallen Angel Shroud, hides the location cool. of Tokyo Arc. 
I can dash either direction. It doesn't tell you that, I don't think. It just says but press that clear. to back, jump back. If you press a different direction, you dash. Than your life. Okay. Yeah, I get it. You've got to protect it. I get it. Let's go. Yeah, got it. Oh. All right, all right, let's go, let's go. Oh, the music is so good. They always have great music. There we go. Oh, okay, we've got some different enemies now. It's Butterfree. begin with and then I don't have to keep my hand up the whole time. Oh no. Nidhogg, the mechanical route that has destroyed countless cities, has lost sight of its target due to our shroud. I seen these are charging up your special. I'm still trying to work out what the game is. Is it just playing random modes or is there going to be kind of a more open bit? I guess it's just levels, isn't it? Because although Altair Breaker was a lot more repetitive, you knew at least what you were grinding for. Like, I don't know if you would actually go back on these missions. I'm going to skip this. And I'm going to skip this. feel bad for skipping but I just want to get to the game you have unlocked all features in cyberbrain limbo some features are in the quick menu okay you can use the quick menu while in battle use it to exit or change your current experience <laughs> that is true
Vital signs and Oracle stream normal. Please launch Ragel. Having dumbass as a subordinates is tough. I thought I ordered you to make your debts more beautiful. It's not a metaphor or anything. You can't get a scapegoat out of some sorry looking lump of human flesh. It's like you have these logs the and then you go into the battles and then you've got to listen to more. We've got to at least get that re in device back. You're still my recruit no matter how much of a dumbass you are. I'll fulfill my vow so she can sleep in peace. I'll make sure to pick up your bones, right? Shop. And it's like the, the, the weapon feels awesome when you're swinging it, but it'd be cool if there was like combos that you could learn, like a quick slice, you know. I just feel like otherwise... Dash doesn't. I wish you could increase your dash, that would be nice. I like that you can knock them into others, that's a cool mechanic. The way they move is just spoilt with the reprojection, in my opinion. find the Rian device if we look through the wreckage. Damn. Causing us trouble even after you die. Ah, oh, come on. I'm just getting S ranks and I just feel like I'm barely trying. I don't think there was any difficulty setting.
use it and never defend the thing. I'll do this and then the final one of the chapter and then I'm going to wrap up with my thoughts, I think. I've given this enough time to take off. Um, yeah, we're back here. Great. Vital signs and Oracle stream normal. Please launch Ragel. Stay where I can see you. I need to make sure I can see you when you die. You know, I'm pretty jealous. Still, why don't you say anything? Aren't you the, the one that forgot how to be human? Can you shut up for one second, dumbasses? Next one, buddy. I think I know how you feel. It's not uncommon to see someone you were just talking to come back dead. One of the officers that taught me how to fight once said, Life is full of goodbyes. An officer said that and died right after. So I think they were correct. You know, I'm never using my shield, I'm just keeping my weapon suit up. We just have to get used to saying good. Mass is Monad approaching. Be careful. I have no data about this mech unit. Bring it on. Do your work, dumbass. That is cool. Good results, that is an awesome I design. Might let you chit chat. New enemies ahead. We need more experience fighting them to collect data. The more of us that die, the more information. It's the only way we have left to fight back. Sacrifices are necessary to win. Everyone is in agreement with that. Someone who cries every time one of us dies just can't make it out here. Death is inevitable. Why does it have to control us while we're there? Our lives are full of goodbyes. How should we live until we say it ourselves? If you give up on living, that really is a meaningless death. Back and staying back, an absurd. 
observing us. If the enemy is looking for an opening, they will likely go after those with less skill. We're all going to die someday. We shouldn't let that control us, though. Don't let yourself be one of the first to go. That's like losing before the fight begins. I just feel so slow when I want to move. That death is a sad affair. I hope I can still shed tears for all the fallen soldiers. The way that you use that is amazing. Can you even remember how to shed a tear? Wow, yeeted them right over there. Something changed the moment I saw my dead fish eyes in the mirror. I love that this isn't the last one of the chapter either, so it makes me think as long as you don't have to fight it again. Avatari face an unchanging fate. We will be bereft of our friends in the near future. So, that is why I've decided not to wait for friendships to deepen. I'm just gonna call you my friend now, all right? Noah, I thought. I guess before I do the final battle, I should upgrade myself a bit. Now, do you spend monads on your weapon and on your person? Oh, let's do this first. This does, you do spend monads on this. Upgrade movement, here we are. What's this? Oh. Oh, 
almost can upgrade it all the way. And then what does it go up to? The music, they always do a really great, great job, third verse for their music. Okay, so upgrade movement. Maybe that's meant to change. Maybe this is what movement is. So stamina. It's your fault for acting. Interesting. I'll leave the rest up to you. Oh, it's unlocked, Bye. is it? Let's have a look what this weapon is. <laughs> that is awesome. These weapons look sick. Collating database of the dead. Matching transferred memories. Unlocking scapegoat type. Eight. I wonder why it's called eight. <clears throat> you can now switch between scapegoats. Move the coffin in front of you and grasp a weapon to equip it. That is awesome. Look at that. So when you grab it, you have two. These weapon designs are amazing. But I've been upgrading this. So I'm going to keep. So awesome. guys last battle of the stream and welcome to anyone that's just joined hope you are having a good day do subscribe as uh i've played over 180 psvr2 games as let's play live streams and i've got a lot Vital signs i'm still trying to catch up with but i'm getting there please launch regal Captain Taiga, the beta type just violated an order. That soldier should be put in a disciplinary cell, right? That's a rule for us older models. You know more than anyone that this is special. Okay, we're in the zone. Eh? That's good. We would normally use this time to collect see more data. See if I can actually see where the time limit is, because. At Captain Tiger's Is request, we will begin our operation for control. I like these. I, always see the I like there's a time limit and they're just I nattering on. Open up! Bam, 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 bam. You're a little different. The characters look awesome, mate. Here we are. The mech bases, nexuses, are dotted here and there. I believe this one is a stronghold for the newer mech unit. When you knock them back, That's it feels awesome. Our only information about the enemy comes from the re device of one particular soldier that died. Bring it on. This is information we got for his life. Dedicate your victory to your scapegoat. Square up already. 
Do you speak in Latin? Is it Donus? Or is it Dumbass? Right, no more talking. Oh, we've got to speak to another body, do we? because none of you can be bothered. That sounds horrible. The majority of the slain soldier eight has been collected for use as a relic body in a scapegoat. Right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna absolutely However, smash this boss as soon as we get in there. From the neck up. That aspect is similar to last time. All right, open up. The time we fought the Holy Mother. Let's do it. Is that... is that me, buddy? Hearing the robot voice reading out the chat, the saying Dumas is hilarious. Oh. I'm glad to hear your voice. But, but the, the, I mean, the boss designs are just epic. We cannot have a repeat of our fight with the Holy Mother. Death seems to take everything away. The machine is using his voice to regenerate a facsimile of what he might say. Spawn some more enemies so I can charge up my... Whoa. All right. Release your weapon to restore your health. That's cool. Oh, do I have to press that to heal? Is that what I was doing wrong last time? I think so. Yeah, like, look at that little maggot thing in the bottom. This is awesome. And look at my team doing absolutely nothing. Go on, attack him. Thank That's you, it. Buddy. Join me on this side. I remember vividly how your comrade lost their neck. You are all rubbish. Life is full of good vibes. It's amazing, like, the, all the, like, moves the boss does are just spectacular to look at, but because the combat itself is just so one note, it's like, yeah, all right, I'll just stand back, wait for you to do that, and then I'll give it another go, you know? If we're going to be fooled by this crap, that bastard's just gonna roll in his grave. If it's with you... Maybe I could endure the agony of death, please. I mean, you've wasted a bunch of time talking, right? So you should understand. No matter how shabby the guy was, he was never the soft. And maybe this game would be a lot more fun if I was playing with friends. I definitely enjoyed Old Hair Breaker playing it multiplayer. I just 
wish you could use the dash in the air. That would be really cool. Yeah, there's lots of games I still haven't let's played yet, and they're all going to be played, so um, trust me, I'm on it. I'm just having to listen to my body a lot lately, and uh, I don't want to burn myself out. I wish, like, when they died, they dropped the... I'm going to be giving all my final thoughts after this battle, so if you're wondering what I think of it, stay tuned. I've only got one minute left. Damn it. All right. Why does it... Since I've stared at your face so much, I can tell you've made up your mind. I've already got one minute left. Roger that. I'll put everything I have in as well. Cool, oh, give me some of the crystals. No idea how much health it had left or anything, but I was taking my time with it. And I was playing with three people that did nothing, so yeah. If you fail, I recommend returning to your last experience and getting used to the task at hand. Did I actually collect any monads from that, or do you not, you don't win them if you die? Let's have a look. Didn't get any. Cool. Let's have a look here. Okay, people. All right. Well, 
I am just muting the chat for the moment while I if give my tired, final thoughts. Free to take a break. But uh, this, everybody, was Soul Covenant. Um, and I want to say a massive thank you to the devs for providing me with the game key once again for this. What are my final thoughts? Um, firstly, visuals. I feel like I say this a lot with games because I do really appreciate what people go for. I love the art style. I think it's really great world building. I think the places that you're fighting in are just really great in design. I love the weapons. The weapons Messiah. and how they Your unfold into different ways. So, so epic. You so, so creative and badass. To and to experience that in VR is awesome. Death. So, like, On visually, I love goals. the presentation. I mean, look at this brain. I mean, this is stuff that in VR you only really get to appreciate by being in a place where you get to, you know, react virtually <laughs> and stick your head in stuff. But uh, as for, like, the technical side of it um i think it looks good in the headset but and i know some people in the chat have said it hasn't bothered them i don't normally get bothered that much but in this i think the reprojection is really bad i'm going the best test you can do is just look at something and move left and right and the duplication i can literally see like two of the you object you can do it with text as well although that there it's actually not too bad um and I think because of the animation of the bots and how fast they move, it just gives that ghosting effect a lot more. But like, look at all this, this sort of smoke and that, and sort of the watery effects underneath it, I think. And, you know, I think if they had dynamic foveated rendering, this game would look absolutely stunning and just incredible because they have some really great designs going on in here. So yeah, I feel very mixed about that. Uh, next up, the audio. I love the voice acting. The music and third verse have always been excellent with this, from my experiences with Altair Breaker. One day in a cyber brain is one hour in the real world. Uh, Eve. Humanity's Eve. fate will be decided in just a few hours. Look, I'm talking to my. Finish re in before the enemy arrives. Right, but listen, Eve. Let the fallen lead us. Okay, Eve, listen to me. I need you to just. Shh, shh, shh. I'm talking to my live stream, reviewing this game. All right. So if you could just be quiet. Despite my appearance, I'm running calculations. All right, well, you run your calculations my by yourself, and I'm going to be over running. here. That is to say, All right. I am never ignore Eve if you can, people. It is foolish to judge by Oh, no, don't follow me. Please, Please don't follow me. Um, audio is great, except for Eve. Eve just doesn't shut up. <laughs> uh, but no, look, the voice, voice acting is great. The music, as I was saying, third verse are so, so good. Like, the music is so great in this game. Love it, love it, love it. Would love to get access to the soundtrack. And um, the the fighting sound effects are great. Everything going on is, is really great. So I think audio, design, exceptional. Haptics. Talk about exceptional. The haptics in this game are phenomenal. One day in a the impact you feel, especially when you do that final blow and you Humanity's yeet them, you really feel it. And then the head hours. haptics are done really well. That bit where you get devoured by the, um, the, the bot arrives. and you Let can like feel them us. chomping on your to head one bite at a time. That is one of the grossest things I've ever experienced in VR. Uh, and I love it. <laughs> it was just so, so, so horrible. Um, so there is that. Um, I think the haptics are top notch in this game. Really, really great. And then finally, people, gameplay. The question is, did I have fun? And the answer is, yeah. Yeah, I did have fun in the sense that the battles one felt great, but the amount of stuff in between, I mean, it felt like the, the tutorial was never ending. There was no gear change. Hours. Things were very slow paced. I was waiting for the game to kick off and uh, it just was always logged, battle, log. And there was so much exposition and and maybe if I was not in a live stream, I'd, I'd find it better, but I really struggled with it. Um, and look, I don't like normally doing direct comparisons, but because Third Verse worked on Altair Breaker, I'm just telling you right now, Altair Breaker, I had an amazing time with but I did play it with a friend which I haven't done with this game yet which I'd be interested to see and Altair Breaker I preferred the movement it was a much more fluid you in terms of battling 
Um, it was very grindy, a lot more repetition. This seems like it's going to have different types of levels, but it's not like you're going into a run and trying to get to the boss. It's just like a campaign. So I'm curious to know if there are other modes that are going to open up or it's just a main campaign. Um, and so honestly, how I feel at the moment with this is I think the fighting mechanics feel great but are very one note and repetitive um, and I think just there's a lot of stuff that compared to Altair Breaker there's a lot of things that are a step forward visual presentation although um, the, the fidelity felt a lot better in Altair Breaker but there's a lot more going on here um, the haptics are fantastic here but in terms of like the overall game maybe it's going to work for some people it doesn't really work for me and I'm still gonna you know come back to this game and see if it takes off but I think that this is the game and for that um, I'm kind of disappointed so those are my honest thoughts and I don't normally talk about the price when it comes to games but because it came out today a lot of people are saying it's $45 down from $50 and so I just have to comment that for a game of that price if you're on the fence about this you're either gonna know if this game's for you or not if you think yeah Actually, this is my kind of game, then go for it. You but if you're someone that's a bit on the fence club. about it, the I would say, and this is death. just one perspective, don't Take don't swear by this, but get Altair Breaker if it's you on discount because it's been out a lot longer. Give that a go because I enjoyed that and see how you get on. And then if you really like it and want to go on to this, then maybe do this at a later time. But $50 is a lot to ask for. And for me, there was just so, there's so much standing around waiting for exposition. I'm skipping all the logs, but I'm still having to go into them. Um, and so, yeah, um, there's a lot they do right with this game, and it shows you the brilliance of third verse. But in terms of like the core gameplay, it's just very stop start. And, and for that, your it's really, really disappointing. So, um, with that, um, I'll move I've got the chat back on. That, those are my begins. thoughts. I would love to Death hear your thoughts. Do you own this game? Right. And if so, let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Um, and yeah, I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone in the live chat for joining me. Uh, this was Soul Covenant. I've been Miles Dyer. And I will see you next time on a future PSVR 2 Let's Play. And if you haven't already, do hit the like button. And I'll see you next time. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.